Hi guys, um, just bought a new solder station. Um, it's a two in one, which means you've got a soldering iron and a heat gun. Now, the model I've bought is a model 8582D and it's Inesti, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a cheap Chinese um, solder station. Get a English manual with it, as you can see there, I don't know if you can see that, but you know, you see soldering iron uh, is a 70 watt, so it goes from 200 to 480 degrees Celsius. You get a hot air gun as well, um, which is a 750 watt, which goes from 100 to um, 480 degrees Celsius. So I'm just going to go through the bits and bats that you get with it. Um, obviously we'll start with the, the main unit first. Quality wise, <laughs> it's not great, it's it's plastic, and it's kind of like a thin plastic as well. And I received mine through the post, so as I took it out of the box, um, this top part, which is just an empty shell, which attaches to the bottom part here, wasn't aligned correctly on this end here, so the socket was loose at the back, so I had to take four screws out, take the top off and reposition it. And this is kind of like really flimsy at the back, so when you plug it in, and this could be a problem in the future. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it kind of like bends a little bit, the plastic bends. So you need to be careful with that. There's only two flanges on the socket at the top and two at the bottom that are holding that in. Um, so in the future, I'm going to take this apart and put some hot air, sorry, hot glue around the edge there and um, try and seal it a little bit more. As I said, your hot air gun goes in here and your iron goes in there. You've got a dial for the air that blows out and then you've also got switches to switch individual iron or the hot air gun on. So you've got on and off. And you've got these for your temperature. So this one raises your temperature, this one takes it back down. You've also got a holder in here, so your hot air goes, goes in there. So that's the, uh, the main unit. The gun itself, hot air gun. Um, it's not bad quality, it's not brilliant. You can see it's a little bit loose on the end there, which doesn't really do much. It's quite easy to hold. You get uh, four nozzles with it, and like I said, it just plugs in. There's it over there. This is the iron, and this is the worst bit. It's pretty cheap, uh, pretty crude. Um, if I could get another one of these, different mate, you know, better quality, I would. It should be straightforward plugging in there. Um, let's just have a look at this. To change, um, to change your tips, just take that off. And that's your tip. You also get some more tips as well with it. You get about 10 tips all together in a bag here, which is uh, pretty good. So you get a good variety there. Um, but yeah, this, this iron is not particularly great. I'm sure it'll do its job though. As you can see, the element is slightly bent. There's nothing much you can do about that. It's all plastic around here. So all well, this thread's plastic, this is plastic as well. And uh, so it's not it's not brilliant quality. Let's try and get that back on there. Make sure I don't cross thread it. Okay, that's nice and tight. Put your tip on. Screw that back on. So yeah, that's your that's your iron. Uh, as I said, this is seventy watt.
You also get a holder with it as well, which is metal, by rights. A bit of a cleaning pad here, which is next to <laughs> next to useless. But it'll probably last you about a couple of hours, or a couple of days, or whatever. Um, I've actually put this on the bottom here, because obviously there was nothing there, it's just bare metal when you get it. So when you was putting your, your iron in, it was just sliding about everywhere. It was moving about quite crazily. So I've stuck that on the bottom there to stop it, you know, to stop it moving. So what I'll do, I'll come back and I'll switch it all on. And I'll actually show you what it does and how it works. Okay, so we're back again. So I'm going to switch it all on now. Um, just give you a general idea how it all works. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our rain in our blower and we're just going to plug it in. So quite simply, just push it in, just tighten the little screw up. Make sure it's nice and tight. Same with our blower. You can't really put these in the wrong way because they're all grooved and oriented so it's impossible to um, put them in the wrong way unless you're stupid. Okay so we've got our blower in there, we've got our iron. So I'm just going to plug it into the socket. Okay now it's switched on now. Um, <clears throat> So you get three um, three bars. Basically, that's just sound this power going to it. So turn the iron on. You just flip the power switch down here. It's set at 225 degrees. Now it'll move up. Now the little single um, dot there. Once it's a solid light, it means it's going up to temperature. When it gets to temperature, then that'll start to flash. So we'll wait till it gets to 225. I think it is. Okay, now you see it flashing, that means it's actually up to temperature. Now I've tested this, and it's actually not up to temperature yet, um, even though it's saying it is at temperature. It takes about a minute to get there, so like a minute from when that starts flashing, you can probably test it. And I have done with a, with a thermometer gun. It does roughly get within about 10 plus or minus 10 degrees of 225 degrees. That's basically... Um, for your iron. Now to um, change the temperature, all you do is press these up and down. So if you press it once, it's, it, it moves one degree. Um, if you hold it down, you can rapidly move it. So that's the minimum it'll go to, to uh, 200. So if you want to move it up, just hold it down. And it'll now start going up to that temperature. So there you go, you've got the flashing light, so it's on you, it's at the correct temperature now, temperature, sorry. <clears throat> but like I said, it does take a minute to reach that actual temperature, and it'll be with plus or minus 10 degrees of that, which is, to be honest with you, it's, it's actually pretty good. Um, now what happens now, if you leave that iron in there and not touch it, so while you take it out, you use it, and you put the iron back in, after 10 minutes, um, you'll get what's called SLR on there, three, three letters SLR, which means it's going into sleep mode. What it'll do, it'll shut the iron down and it'll take you back down to 200 degrees, 200, 200 degrees, sorry. So that's your sleep mode, but you have to leave it in there for 10 minutes. Um, so we'll just turn that off and we'll go to the blower. We'll turn the blower on. It works exactly the same as this side, except you've got the, the fan there to blow the air out. So the company recommends that you leave it on on the full 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 amount basically um, because it obviously it's going to give you longevity regarding the the blower it's going to last you longer again to turn this on just press your button to turn it on first sorry so to change the temperature of the uh, the heat gun again one click will um, take it down one degree at a time fast clicking takes it right down so that's the minimum 480 degrees sorry that's the maximum 480 degrees and it should go down to i think it's 200 
no 100 sorry it goes down to 100 so we'll just set it now we're going to put it on low we're going to set it to 200 degrees there we go now it's not going to turn on until i lift it out, out, of, its, out of its little cradle and now you see it temperature going up which is quite fast now you've got heat coming out of that so you can change the uh, the blower so if you move it to your left you've got a really subtle amount of air coming out now you've got to feel a lot of heat there we'll turn it up fully you can really feel that blowing so you can hold it a fair distance away from your target and obviously if you use your nozzles and you can localise where you actually really want to go if let's say you're doing a circuit board when you put the um, when you put the gun back in there the temperature will start to go down the blower carries on blowing when it gets back down to 100 degrees it should shut off And I know it does fluctuate with the numbers a little bit. And there you, you there you have it, it shuts off. So that's basically um, how it works. So um, not a bad unit. I've not really fully tested it yet. Um, but hopefully if I can get a year out of it, I'll be quite happy with that. Okay. Thanks for watching. If any um questions or comments please leave them, leave them below oh by the way you also get a set of um, tweezers with it so they'll come in really handy like i said if you've got any comments uh, just leave them below and i'll um, try and answer them for you thanks a lot